Cisco File Power Active Directory integration is a prerequisite for identity-based access control. In this section, we will learn how to integrate Cisco File Power Management Center with Active Directory. In the next section, we continue the discussion to enable identity-based access control in the network. In System Integration, realms and add realms we can add new realms a realm consists of one or more LDAP or Microsoft Active Directory servers we have to configure a realm to perform user and user group queries after configuring realm FMC can download a list of users and group from the servers then we have the option to configure identity policy. There are three types of realm supported by Cisco Firepower Management Center, Active Directory, LDAP, and Local. We configure Active Directory in our example. Name, Raika-co.local, also for a description, for domain, for username administrator at sign domain name and the password base dn dc equal raika dash co and dc local this is also true for group distinguished name the ip address of the domain controller one two hundred forty, and we don't use encryption and we test the connectivity as you can see test connection is successful and configure group and users after rel configuration we can load active directory groups and include or exclude any group which will be used in Cisco Firepower Management Center. As you can see, by default, all groups are included. In Directory tab, we have the option to add multiple server or domain controller. In our example, we have got just one domain controller. In Realm Configuration tab, you can add the username and password that FMC can join to the Active Directory Administrator Raika-co.local and password and then save After finishing the configuration, we have the option to download here the latest users and group information from Active Directory. Download now. Yes. We have to receive a message which the downloading users and group are successful. As you can see, download user group from Royco-code.local is successful. In Sync Result tab, you can make sure if Active Directory information are up to date or not, for example, in domain users, I have to see a username with the name of Majid. As you can see, the information is achieved from Active Directory. Now we are ready to implement identity-based access control. That means we can control any access in the network based on username instead of IP address. We will continue the discussion in the next section.